So this is a short review for the Piaggio Vespa GTS 250. Really just a, um, a quick run through of what it's like if you've not been on one before. The first thing you get is this fairly traditional kind of look with sort of the flush fitting indicators. The bike itself is all metal. The side panels on the front, nearly all metal. I think the front my guard is probably plastic. Let's have a bit of a look at that. Yeah, that's plastic, but the rest of it's metal. This is all metal on here. Of course, you can get some rust on these down the bottom there. In fact, they all seem to do it. That one isn't too bad, but um, many of them get rust along that seam down there. So you've got a liquid-cooled four-stroke single-cylinder bike with some storage space under the seat. Let's show you another seat there. So you press that button there. There's some storage space under it, but you wouldn't get a big helmet in there. You get a small helmet in there, I guess. And your access to the engine is down through this piece here. It comes with a bag which you pull over the seat there for the wet weather. Anyway. Let's take it for a spin and show you what it's like. It comes with this fairly cheap sort of side stand thing, so when you need to lift the bike up right, it just flicks up. Obviously that was done to save money and many people didn't like that, including me. It's a recipe for some kind of incident. This bike's been fitted with a sports exhaust, so you get a load of accessory bits for these things. Vespa make loads of accessories for these things, but there's all kinds of other bits and pieces you can get for them as well. The ride on the bike does feel oldie worldy. When you ride a modern scooter and this, you do realise that this bike feels a bit... How can I describe it? Um, not exactly like a vintage bike, it feels more refined than that, but halfway between the two. The modern bike designs are designed for practical reasons, and this says, doesn't have many of those things. But anyway, having said that, it's a likeable thing. Um, the seat on it is small for two people, two normal sized people, but adequate. It would be quite a good commuter I suppose, although I probably personally wouldn't use it as a commuter. Um, because I think the metal work would suffer a little bit with sort of um, stone chips and that kind of thing. Plastic is better for that kind of thing. Anyway, um, you get this electronic sort of dash with um, a manual speed. Though this particular one, the mileometer has stopped counting up which I think is something that they do. The way this bike feels, it's um, very easy to ride. There's no fuel tap choke or anything like that because it's fuel injection. It is just a matter of turn the key and open up the throttle. It's, it's as simple as that. I like the look of this bike. If I was being honest, I'd say I don't particularly like its oldie worldy sort of backward looking sort of styling. Styling from the point of view of how practical it is. Anyway, I'll give you a bit of a, a quick rundown of what it's like. If you've got any questions, um, I'll probably know a bit more about it than what I've said, so just ask.